OK, so we have previously talked about in this class is um, obviously G, um, proportions and ratios. And one thing that we went over is this is a ratio, right? And when you set, OK, that's enough. When you set a ratio equal to another ratio, you have what we call a proportion. OK? Now, when we're talking about ratios and proportions, we have two things, which we call an extreme and means. That's an extreme. That's an extreme. And remember, when we do cross, multi cross multiplication, what we're doing is we're multiplying the extremes and the means. Now, what the geometric mean means is when we have the means are exactly the same, okay, we can solve for our geometric mean by taking the square root of the product of our extremes. So let's go and take a look at that. Let's say I had x over a is equal to b over x. Okay. So what the geometric mean is, let's say I wanted to solve for x, which would be what our which would be solving for the geometric mean. Because what we're doing is my means, um, I'm sorry, I wrote that wrong. a over x equals x over b. Our means are exactly the same, right? The means are exactly the same. They're both x. So when our means are the same, that's exactly what we're trying to do for solving the geometric mean. So when I apply cross multiplication, what I have is x squared equals 8 times b. To solve for x, I now take the square root of both sides, and I get x equals the square root of 8 times b. So if I ask you to find the geometric mean between two values, what you need to do is take the square root of their product, and that's going to be your geometric mean. I'll give you guys an example of those in just a second. 